Hey guys, welcome to Curator Cast. So this is a rather small video where I'm trying to show you why I chose this ESR tempered glass over the paper light, which is like the common opinion of most people. And I will show you the whole installation process, not a sponsored or anything, just purchased from my own money to get the best protection the iPad Pro can. Okay, so let's first talk about why I chose ESR. Number one reason was basically there were three reasons. Number one reason was there were two units. So let's say if I break one or if one doesn't work properly, I can always use the second one. Or if by time, let's say five, six months, something happens, a lot of scratches appear, I can use the second one. So there's always a second one. At less surprise, I don't have to pay for everything from the scratch. Second reason was as it says it has fingerprint resistant coating. To a certain extent, I felt now I have been using this uh, almost like around uh, 17, probably 20 days. So so far the experience is good and I have felt that it does what it does good so fingerprint coating and 9H resistance well all of them say the same thing so not that important but a third main important point the application point of view this is very easy to apply I mean a 10-12 year old kid can pretty much apply this if they are determined to now coming to a point why I chose this tempered glass over the paper like well first I will tell you a few advantages of the paper like they are majorly two so if you use the paper like the first advantage will be if you are a student or you are an artist you will get that feeling of writing on a piece of paper that's clear by the name itself because of that friction it has you know that micro whatever they call it nano surface of friction so you get that feeling plus the sound also comes in a similar way like you are writing on a piece of paper that's the first point that it improves your ability and gives you the same natural feeling of writing on a piece of paper or drawing on a piece of paper. The second important aspect is reflection. It cuts off reflection while this is pretty much as you can see a mirror right now. And this is the disadvantage I'm coming to that. Now why I chose this? Pretty much straightforward writing is not the very important aspect of my day-to-day -day use of iPad so so far so that's the reason I didn't care about that the second main reason it gives me that extra strength and all I mean I like to tap with my fingernails even though you might feel that's awkward but I feel that it is an added advantage but the main advantage of using a tempered over uh, you know that paper like was that after three, four months, you will realize that your paper like has a lot of scratches. Number one point, it will have a lot of scratches because there's friction and when there's friction, there's another body rubbing on that friction. It creates those scratches. It is very much visible. You can see any videos throughout the internet and that looks, that looks really bad. That's number one major reason of not using paper like. And the second reason was that that's an important reason. If you're buying an iPad, if in, even if it's a pro 12.9 inch, which has that mini you know, LED display, or if it's a normal iPad, guys, it's known for their beautiful screens, the display technology they use. If you use paper like, it kind of diffuses light, not completely, but a lot. So you will not get the beautiful feeling of using this beautiful screen on that paper like. It's a major issue if you are anywhere using this for your entertainment purpose. That feels really, really bad. And if you don't trust me, again, I'll find a video, a cool video which a guy has prepared and it's the best video I can find on the internet. It's a four or five minute video. You can please go ahead and watch that video. So there's a major reason I didn't choose paper like. That was my first ten intention, but now it's the ESR. Now application wise, pretty straightforward. The main disadvantage now, the main disadvantage the only one which I could find for me was this thing makes your iPad basically a mirror. Not completely mirror, at least while when the screen is turned on, it will be normal. Like when the screen is turned on, it's normal. But how to compare? Well, iPads, basically Apple devices, iMacs and all, they you can see their screens when it's not coated. You will see a bit more you know purplish tinge all around that is kind of their coating anti-reflective coating which kind of i think brings down the reflectivity to 1.6 percent like only 1.6 percent lights gets reflected when you use this it doesn't have those reflective properties it doesn't have those coatings that makes it a lot more prone to reflection i'll show you in a minute i will do a there's a small notch which is not covered with this so i will show that pretty quickly 
Now, apart from application wise, yeah, it has left that notch. So all your face ID and everything works properly. No, you know, hue and all on your camera. So no issues at all. In terms of alignment, it worked perfectly. In terms of application, it was very easy. In terms of price, it's really budget friendly considering how much expensive this iPad is. If you compare to paper, paper is paper obviously, but let's say I'm trying to write something now. I don't feel that it's kind of um, not doable. Like think of iPad screen. iPad screen is again as slippery as this is. If you can write on iPad screen without any paper like production, you can write on this. Not a big major bummer as people make that of an issue. So let's see how this whole installation experience is right now. And if you're thinking which cover I'm rocking on this iPad Pro M1 11 inch and obviously I keep this microfiber cloth because this has again the back has that fiber which is a fingerprint maggot. So I've prepared a separate video for that. This is the Nilikens, you know, very tough iPad Pro case. And I feel this is the best you can get. Plus you can show off your Apple logo too, if you want, if you are into that. So let's see then. Case this anyhow provides everything you need to fix it. So this is that frame that needs to be put and then I have purchased a two pack like I told earlier so if anything goes wrong or even if later point of time I want to update it I can update it two separate kits for uh, each of them so I'll be using one obviously hopefully everything goes well then there is this you know lucky draw and all whatever now this does not need that squeezy thing it is just simply supposed to be dropped and then it will kind of you know spread all around and stick it now it is not completely hard and it is quite thin too so let's see if i can focus it yeah so it is quite thin actually and it can be bent a little bit which is all right dust removal stickers these are good because there's a lot of lint you know wrote lying here and there so these stickers basically stick that lint onto themselves first we need to clean it with these alcohol wipes microfiber cloth yes i have a strong feeling that it will not work i can see lint So there's a big bubble at the center, edges are almost done. I have to squeeze that bubble out, almost there.
in terms of alignment it has aligned perfectly it's just one bubble remaining which needs to kind of go out it was a bubble which kind of compressed down but as you can see edges everything is balanced everything is where they should like they are supposed to be yeah i turned on the fan because it was too hot now it's all done so yeah there we go the only thing i see is that basically when you apply a tempered glass or any layers of that matter you will feel a bit you know layer between your screen and all because it's there but apart from that it feels like a little bit of white like you can see the difference here this is black this is white so that is the borders which kind of bring it to you notice apart from that it's a little bit more shiny because there is no those kind of coatings which ipads apply on their own so that is that but application wise it feels good i mean it can last me for probably a year or so <laughs> one thing which i just saw was that is a very small lint which got trapped here but it's all like it's all sealed so no issues here but so far the application is pretty easy and anybody can do it at home remember if you find a bubble you just have to squeeze its way out to the end and you are done so great job esr then you get one microfiber tool which you can keep with your ipad to clean it anytime so guys that was all i had for you in this video if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section and so far i'm pretty happy with esr so you can go ahead buy this link will be in the description thank you again bye guys Thank you.